Hello teachers and welcome back to the wonderful world of updating your website on the bbrsd.org domain. So today I want to show you how to log in in case you've forgotten or this is brand new to you, what your information page is, site manager page which includes the welcome page and the my website page. So let's take a gander first at an example of this. So I'm going to pick on Nick because his is a very excellent site for uh, what it can look like. So uh, notice he has a, a welcome page here and he's used colors here. He's added picture and he's updated his own personal information over here or professional information, including a link within that. Over in the my website page, he has, he has links over here on the sides so that you could also update. It's got documents that he can update, but he also has pictures in there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to any BBRSD site you want to. It can be a Tahanto site or it could be a uh, Boylston Elementary site. Doesn't matter. All you need to do is go up to the sign in up in the top corner, top right corner, and hit sign in. And you're just going to enter your username and go ahead and sign in. Now notice right now it says I'm in the Boylston Elementary School, but up here at user option, if I start editing things, I'm going to be editing on my site, which is Tahanto. So even though the blue is going to show up, it's still here. If I edit my account information, it looks blue. It looks like I'm editing on the Boylston site. No, it's just using the Boylston Elementary as a backdrop. This will make all my changes in my own home. So notice if I click here and do Tahanto, and then I go back here and click Edit Accounts. Notice it's the same information as before. It's just that now I'm in a different domain and a different color scheme. All right, so here is just your basic information. So uh, your username, your email address, etc. And if you want to change your avatar image there to something that's prescribed, I don't see anywhere that you can update it uh, for personalization, just stuff they've already put there. You can. If you need to change your password, you can do that so here. Now let's get into the website option. So go to Site Manager there, Site Manager, and we're going to see our options. I have a welcome page and a my website page, just like this sample teacher does. So you don't need to know all this information over here, although this does give you a, an insight as to when people have visited your page, if you're interested in that. And these are other tools that you can dig in at your own time. A key thing, of course, is at the top here, how do I? Of course, that's the help button. So if you ever click on that, it'll open a separate page and you can start looking into how to add pages, etc. But that's more advanced stuff than you need. All right, so back here, let's edit the welcome page. So when we open this, we get this big tray over here of, uh, what does it look like? Apps it's called. Ah, too much, too much. Don't worry about any of this. Okay. This is only if you want to drag something over and um, add kind of an applet to your site. You don't need to get crazy at all with any of that. You can ignore all that and just do here. So this applet is called the about teacher. In other words, about you. So I'm going to edit that. And here I'm going to say, oh, my name is Mr. Teacher. And you can change things like the color if you would like here. Now, it was originally blank when, uh, when you log in. It's going to originally be blank like this. Okay. So um, if we just put some content in there, you can type or I have a prescribed thing here. And uh, maybe let me just put a title. Welcome to my page. Woohoo. Now, maybe you want that welcome part to be larger. So notice this styles here. I can make it larger or largest even. I can get crazy and even bold face or get to the edge here and choose some colors that just pop out. Crazy talk. So uh, you can even add a link in there if you wanted to. Ask questions. Uh, notice there's this link button and you can direct it to another site or an email address or a web address here. Uh, wikipedia.com or something like that if you wanted to. But notice there's no, uh, no hyperlink there being added because I exited out. Now if I scroll down or if I try to exit out here, it's going to say, wait, ah, not, nothing happened here. Uh, none of my changes took place. So what I need to do is, if I do make any changes, 
I need to scroll down to the bottom, outside, and hit the Save button here. Now, if you want a picture on your website, you're going to want to add a single picture. Here, I'm just going to choose my teacher picture right there. And I'm going to add this image, so insert image, onto my page, and then hit the Save button. Now, let's see what that looks like here. If you exit out right there, notice up here in the top right is, and you hover over, it's going to say Preview. It's not showing up for me right now. There it is. And I hit Preview, and this is what my page looks like so far. Oh, look, here's a welcome page, here's my picture, and look, welcome, and here's my website. So far, there's nothing on my website because I haven't done it, but back at my welcome, I see that I do have some things here. Okay, great, so I'm going to exit out of that because I don't need that anymore, and I'm going to exit out of the welcome page. Now I'm going to go back to my website here, and I can start making my web page look like Nick's here, where I have pictures, I have a, a title, and I might even have some links over on the side. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, again, these are your apps and you can ignore them entirely because it's already been predetermined right here for some things that you might use. So for example here, you enter your name here. Well, let's start with that. It's going to open up a little tray over here and I'm going to say, oh, my name is Mr. Teacher. So I'm going to put that in. If I want to make it smaller or larger, I have those options. So I'm going to hit save and there we go. Pause, in fact. If I want to see what that looks like, I click that. Oh, look, Mr. Teacher is now there. Great. So we see that I have made some changes. Now let's make another change here. A place for one image. I, you can put your own picture, a picture of kids, a picture of yourself. Here I'm going to put a picture of the hybrid schedule at Tahanto that we're going to be using just because I know a lot of kids are going to have questions on that. And this is what it looks like. Insert image. And so if I want to see what that looks like so far on my page, I click up there. And ha 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 ha, nothing happened. So what happened? Oh, I know. See, I forgot to press the save button. Dun, 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 dun. Press the save button. But I need some sort of a text here. So um, hybrid and save. Okay, now it shows up over there. And let me go to the preview uh, here again. Oh, Mr. Teacher. And it does show what our schedule looks like for a given week at Tahanto. This doesn't apply to the elementaries. Okay. Now, down here, if you would like to have a gallery of photos, you may. Let me show you what that looks like here. Uh, you can just uh, click through. If you want to make it smaller, you can change this to 300 or 600. Again, you can make changes and then check to see what that looks like on the preview page. But let's get started. It says let's upload some photos. So I'm going to upload a few photos from my site that I've already downloaded, and I've got some Tahanto photos here that are going to cycle through. So press the Upload button, and now this is putting everything onto the server, nothing you need to know about. You're welcome to edit um, each thing. You can change the title to uh, the cafeteria or whatever else. You can have a caption that shows up on eating, and it'll show up, and it's even clickable. So if you wanted this to go to a different website, Wikipedia or CNN or something like that, then you could actually type it in there as well. So if I hit save, and now at the end, you have to do this. You have to hit the publish button if you want these photos to be published. So let's go ahead and publish that. Yes, I want to. Now let me go back and do the preview again up here and see what that looks like. So I'm Mr. Teacher. I have this picture here. Oh, look, I've got a bunch of pictures down here that are automatically doing a slideshow going through. And you can advance or go back if you would like at your own. And notice even one of them, this right here, uh, well, doesn't show up, but sometimes the, uh, the text would show up. Not sure why it didn't in this case. So I'm going to exit out. If you decide you don't want that at all, you're welcome to just delete that whole thing just by pressing the remove button. Or if you wanted a second gallery, you could drag that over here and add a second gallery or something like that. Delete this gallery and add a new one if you'd like. Now, how did Nick add things over here to the side for quick access for my students? So that's what the quick links are here. So you have an option to quick add right here with the button or edit the current ones. Now, I don't have any on my current, so if I press this, there won't be a list here yet. Um, so let me show you the quick add. This little tray here, it says link text. So I want a Google Classroom link. 
and where's it going to take me? So here I have to enter the web address and you can just get the URL uh, and paste that in. How did I do that? If you really want to see uh, how one does that, you can say classroom.google like so, and you can just highlight up there, right click, get the copy button like so, come back over to here, and then do paste or control or command V. And then that's all you need. Nothing else. You can ignore the rest of the stuff. If you would like to open it in a new window, you have that option. This is a hovering tooltip. Uh, click me to get to Google Classroom. Okay, so when I ov uh, uh, hover over this text, it's going to pop up as a help. So watch, let me show you what that looks like real quick. So uh, I save that. I'm going to exit. Oops. Uh, let me go back in and I'm going to preview here. Notice, oh, here's Google Classroom right there. And look, if I hover over it, eventually, oh, click me to get to Google Classroom. There we go. So I have some pictures here, a picture right there. You can add more text like we did before and some additional links. So let's keep going. I'm going to add a few more links here. Quick link. I'm going to add another one. And so, for example, maybe you use Khan Academy or something like that. So the web address is going to be Khan Academy. Khan Academy, open in the save, um, math, videos, or whatever else you use it for, etc. If you wanted to get crazy, you could actually, instead of having a word showing up, Khan Academy or a phrase, you can actually insert an image of Khan Academy or a video or something like that, the video image here, and it would be a clickable image as well, if you would like to. So I'm going to hit save on that, and let me just show you what that looks like so far. Here we go, Khan Academy, right there, and see the math video thing helps up, uh, pops up. Click here to get to Google Classroom. So we've been updating here our friends, the links. So now let's see what else we have. What if you wanted to add documents? What do I mean by that? Well, let's say that you have certain things like syllabuses or syllabi, right? So let me say algebra one syllabus, okay? I'm going to click a file and I'm going to browse onto my computer and I happen to have a syllabus right there. And I don't, I'm going to insert that and it's already there. Now, notice I haven't saved it. But now if I want to, I can type in some information about this. Uh, here is the syllabus for Algebra 1. And grammar is importante. And 2020 to 2021. Okay, now I'm going to hit Save, and we're going to see what that looks like now. So I'm going to go to my preview page and notice here. Oh, so it gives me that link right there to the PDF. And then also it gives me some information about it. You do not need to put this information right there because that could just be tedious. Like obviously my Algebra 1 syllabus is titled correctly, so they don't need more information there unless you want to. Now, uh, one other thing I would like to show you here is Google Folder. Now, what's this? What if you have a whole bunch of um, files that you want all your students to access? So, for example, let me show you here Class Supplies. In my drive, I've made a folder that I call Class Supplies. And in that Class Supplies is just some graph paper that I want available to all my students. So if you click here, or if you were in my drive and you right click, so Class Supplies and right click here, notice I can get a shareable link right there. So I'm gonna get a shareable link and it says anyone with the link or you can say just BBRSD folks, etc. So I'm going to copy that link and then go back to my tab here and in Google folder I'm going to paste it in. Again, control or command V for pasting. Now what do you want it to look like? The files, do you want it to look like a grid or a list? Well I'll show you what they both look like. So let me just leave it as grid right now and hit save. So let's preview real quick and see what that looks like. So notice, oh, over here, I've got my files that are starting to show up. And look, I can slide left and right a little bit if there are more. And so I can click on this and it has graph paper available for my students. And I can exit out of there. 
Um, and oh, and I'm scrolling down. Notice it's just this itty bitty window right there that has all these files that you, oh, isometric dot paper. I can click on that and students can access that pretty quickly. And let me just show you what that looks like if you made it into a list instead. So I'll go back into Google. I'm going to edit that and just click on list and hit save. Let me preview that and see what that looks like. So if I scroll down here, oh look, it just says it's a PDF and the title instead of a preview of what that page looks like. So you're welcome to add more content into that folder. The moment you add one more thing into that folder, then it will automatically update. So let me just show you that real quick. So here is my classroom uh, supplies folder and I'm just going to put a PDF or a JPEG in there and I'll see what that looks like here. So in uh, refreshing this and go into my website and see what happens. So look, even that graph favor and the download there, that picture that I had is now in there as well. So that's the, a way that you can add new information without going into the website. You're just at, on Google Drive and you add more material here. And so students always have access to this very um, important documents or uh, whatever else that you want to fund math things or something like that you can go into there. All right. So that looks like we covered most things. Uh, feel free to expand this. If you break anything, just ask me and I will help you out with it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Fare thee well.